the ward down afterwards too, going. so Secret's gonna be able to de-ward that one, and they're actually looking to get him with a little bit of slow. Let's see if they can do it. Oh. Yeah, it's a risky place for them to move into aggressively onto him, as we are, it's gonna be fine. Instant de-ward though, Puppy gonna Thank right away put this sentry down. Claim that one with an extra gold. Sigma sweeps over to clear out their jungle, bringing five heroes. Lanes lively now. Your we'll see how they end up. Board. Nisha with the maximum damage for the last hitting here. Double gauntlet, so maybe a double bracer early on. I like it. A lot of times for these Kunkas. I like it. There's the Beast. Gotta match his damage. Beastmaster's damage is in. Yeah, we'll see how the well he, he does do down here. And you think at the start, we're going to see some sort of setups of, of, of tri lanes for, for the first wave or so, or straight to dual lanes? Is there any straight strength? To dual lanes. Yeah. No real big surprises, I guess, that you can get. Like, caught on Grimstroke, you know, <laughs> setting up this kill with these three is not really the greatest. I guess on Secret, you could see the potential, but they just want to have standard lanes. Right away, GH. He's actually the one blocking the hard camp with Sentry. They put themselves a defensive Ob's ward on their high ground too to watch, probably just to watch when Puppy is able to find a good creep and maybe look for a wrap around and just protect themselves of any. As expected, yeah. This mid, yeah, Matu just starting things off straight away with a full one yeah. for for this late. Should be a pretty flea lane for this Lark. Bottom, we see my control immediately skills Axis. As soon as Puppy sees that, he just takes over a melee creep to trade the right click war. And yeah, the lane's looking... The mid and the bottom lane looking really strong for Secret. Top lane is a little bit more of a randomness. I feel like Willow always has this the potential to dominate the lane, but also the potential... He does Kuroki. We'll be able to walk away. And break the salve of Yeah, it. yeah. Nice. Yeah, stepping a bit too close there. Well, and Kuroda. Waste pretty much half of that salve, at least. This mid matchup's gonna be so hard. Weeha, he's gone for the just the mana regen build we've seen popularized a lot. So his base damage is even lower than we have. Dyer's Some of the people that go for the, the, no, the no build up early. Yeah, it'll be interesting how Wee plays his game off the, the back of what will be a, a very sort of rough start for him in the 1v1. But a, a 1v1 that you got to imagine, you know, as a man who plays a lot of Batrider, he's probably oh, puppy. Dyer's been against this quite a lot of times killed. before. Oh, he actually gets the courier, the forest, the hill troll priest. The creep got it, yeah. <laughs> Very yeah. nicely he, done. Probably the better creep that he could actually find in this lane too from that small camp. Constant heals for himself and the Kunkka that counteract the Illuminate. That sounds pretty damn good. It will expire though. Now it's going to farm for Venetia down there, seven and three. Uh, against the... Yeah, the... The, the three is zero. There's a, the, he's, he's having a fine time here down bottom. As Mind Control not able to get quite as much out of the lane as Nisha is. I feel like the fact that they're able to do this and just because of these hero picks, the Enchantress and like the uh, and just the Pango in the side lanes, he doesn't skill bore. So it actually def it hurts a lot of the purpose, the initial pick of this Beastmaster as Nisha getting aggressive. Yeah, he's, he's, he's just getting so much damage onto these two. Between the tire bringers and playing with the, the torrent smartly around these range creep denies that that mind control is of course trying to go for. Not healthy on this at all. He, he just makes a couple mistakes here. He could look to. Oh yeah, torrent and uh, a tire bringer. He, he could just be dead. Yeah, low armor yeah. heroes actually too on this bottom lane. So the tide bringer is actually even more valuable. Beastmaster, sure he's got the range of protection, but base armor same for Coddle. They eat quite a lot of damage. Nisha's gonna have some free farm. Yeah, it's just each, of, each of these hits really crunching through mind control. He's got regen coming out. Actually, no, he just has boots coming out, so no regen on this bottom lane right now. They have to be cautious at the top. Top looks like the fun lane where it's very back and forth. You see Zai still farming really well, but so is the PL, and they're just constantly harassing each other, breaking their breaking their regen. Nick is mean almost out of regen up. Uh, and as you said, you know, overall, you do, you do rate this game as a, a pretty good PL game overall. I mean, is this sort of a game where as long as Nigma don't suffer too much in the other lanes and Miracle can find his farm, you'd be pretty confident that the PL is going to have a good shot of carrying it? He should, as long as he's able to get this crazy farm and Zai isn't keeping up. I think Zai is, has this super farm game, so they might actually look to focus to give Zai more farm to be able to address this. If he's able to get crazy farm, maybe, but there are some some small capabilities from 
farm on this Kunkka and this Pango, which they're gonna get. They're gonna be able to cleave down these illusions. Might not be so one to one, especially yeah. if, especially if his other lanes are just so crippled. Like this Beastmaster, eleven last hits. Bat's gonna be shut down too. It can't just be a PL alone versus some slight count. Now this if Zai gets away with a good game, right? He can go the Aghanims, the Maelstrom, and then he's a full counter. Oh, that's so, true. I mean, that has a lot of options that they can go for. It's always fun to see. I mean, Nigma at least having some some heroes that, that do offer quite good control against Zai, right? If you consider, yeah. you know, there's this Beastmaster, Grimstroke. Yeah. Even if Zai does indeed yet yeah, get pretty big this game, it, it's not as if they're going to be completely unable to control them. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Top. Yep, sir. Thinking about actually going in. This, this uh, might, this might actually get I think this should be a first blood, it is. I can't first believe he turned blood. back. That are great I guess he felt he couldn't run away or. Hmm. I'll take like, that. Nice kill for Enigma. And also, just a <laughs> small thing to point out least, I've seen Puppy now twice. He's actually sent his uh, creep to scout the ancient. So he's very aware of the fact of GH backing out of lane and. For that bat rider to get enabled. So we have lanes going rough, they're always gonna have stacks for him to get. Is it worth your life? We'll be aware of that, and they're looking for my control here. Nisha level five, Beastmaster level three. I've got the setup oh. here with the center. Oh, actually, oh. Puppy! Off the mark Come there, on. waiting a little too long and allowing Mind Control to, to get out of there. They should still be able to get him. So it doesn't matter that the combo wasn't followed up perfectly, and they still get the kill. So swing Weeha over to maybe try to get a grab Dyer's onto Nisha. Tower is under attack. Try for the courier. Radiant courier it. has been killed. But Nisha six, very, very early level six on this Kunkka versus a level three Beastmaster. Yeah, this is. I mean, that's now, scary. Yeah, now the six is here. So it's, it's just it's a hard lane for Mind Control to come back into, right? He's a, a real threat of dying to the combo. Top lane, they're trying chasing onto Zai, but Yapsil's here to back him up. Got the rotation too. Matu swinging up with an invis, trying to yeah. help out his buddies. Nigma's got to be careful. Matu, see if he can find his target. He's in, and he's going to be able to find Kura for sure. One down, and maybe another here as the pounce. Over to one the connects. Matu, a perfect rotation. Double kill for him as he leaves mid and has a huge hit on top. And they see Weeha. Weeha's trying to counter get this, but he's under a ward. They're bringing a fourth hero. I mean, Matu actually TP'd up, but Weeha might still be in some trouble. Yeah, he's. He's gonna drop Dyer's the lasso. Tower is under attack. I mean, he's dead. He, he's making a move into a lane where both heroes have died. Oh no! Oh. He, he's, oh no! He's not even gonna live. Poppy's able to take You're him down. down. I, I mean, what, what, why do you think he decided to continue to commit there, Top? After Miracle and Kuro had already died. Is under I don't know. I really don't know. I think he's just trying to find any way to and fix it, the mid lane. Just lanes, but at the same time, Matu, he was able to dive in and get the kill on mind control. Top lane Zai, he's got the swashbuckle. He's out. They're gonna try and chase with the doppel Miracle. We'll be able to close the gap. And oh, actually doesn't want to tower. commit fully. Oh, he holds attack. back. Zai yeah. with the dudes in the trees. He's gonna live, and now Miracle is in trouble. The curse crown will hit. They're getting in with another swipe. Oh Miracle's down. Kuro also in a spot of bother as he's trying to run. Puppy, has he got the damage? They're going to come looking in the trees. Kuro's trying his best with the Jukes, but Yapso and Puppy, they're hunting. Yeah! And they'll find him as that sort of last minute alone uh, has just sent things spiraling incredibly fast downhill for Nigma. Out of control, really. The Beastmaster, my control, he gets a level and a half in the mid lane, gets Dove killed. Matu's rotations, just the dream. Batrider tries to make the move bottom. We hop, doesn't work. Matu makes the move top, gets himself a double kill move. Vic, gets himself third. Look at this again. He's looking really I mean, good. It looked like Miracle had this. If he committed, he, he wanted to pull back as soon as he saw the TP. Felt that he couldn't keep, keep going here, and the illusion's not quite able to get that hit in with Zai, sweeping past the tree line. And Puppy can just make the port top to help out his friends because Nisha's has an absolute free lane bottom as he's going for armlet. This is looking... Secret's got some master planning here Dyer's and Nigma's gonna have to just is under hope for some way back into this game as their two playmakers are so heavily shut down this game. Their bat ride and their beast are, Dyer's structures are pretty fortified. much out of this early game for the next few moments. Dyer's they have to look to group up and make some type attack. of up. Close to the book one at least, but it's, it's pretty slow already at this point. I mean, and, and, and as we've seen, you know, the, the, the summons can be dealt with, right? You know, sure, sure yeah. PL late game might be a bit of an Dyer's issue for the wave clear, but anything like a Necrobook summon, 
Ty bring out a swashbuckle. That's Radiant's pretty much going to do it every time. And now the Miracle's on a hero that he actually can't go and help out, right? Like sometimes we see like sure, he's got a farm. Spirit safe lane or something. PL isn't like that. He's not an active role. He needs his bat rider and his Dyer's beastmaster to be able scanning. to be active to make him the space. So we have to get a try. Is under attack. It's, it's hard though. I mean, yep. He, he's fine. He's out with the shadow realm. Trying to make Dyer's some awkward moves. I think as you say, you Enigma, know, they, they feel that they, they've got to try and do something, but still at this time where Weeha's not quite got the boots to travel finishes, he hasn't got that first time to enable him. It's very hard for them to do so, but but they, they definitely feel pressured to make these sort of moves, Enigma. Yeah, otherwise they're just going to have to play the full farm game, which they are preparing for. We, I've been watching GH. Look at this Ancient. Like He's got like a 5 x stack. stack going. He's got it going for that bat rider, but Weeha is constantly on the run. Is under attack. Then try and turn onto Yap. For the this time around, they might get Yap still, but no Zai's in with the help. He's ever bump over with the Rolling Thunder. We are. He's got to be careful as Matsu also looking forward towards him. The Swashbuckle gets him. Zai takes him out. They may have lost Yap still, but again, another. Slow down to, to Weeha's progress there. Did manage to, to get his bots at least complete, so won't lose too much money. Uh, but still a death. As uh, Secret's three cores holding on to those top spots right now here, uh, just after 10 minutes. And this is how you set yourself up to be able to deal with the PL. Of course, get such good lane advantage, but also itemize for it. You see Nisha, armlet's done, so he'll have ways to be able to clear out those illusions. I didn't quite see what Zai, was, Zai has queued up yet. Just Radiant's the javelin, so he'll be able to have the potential to go for the maelstrom. Oh. They've already got the tools prepared for if PL is able to find farm. Just really taking over, though, and it's not going to slow down. Matu has defusal finish already. All these heroes look like feed to a slark. Yeah, we'll get time to at least farm up his stack. I don't believe this, test this by any means. But they look content with just farming the lanes. They don't feel like they probably need to invade. It's how much damage they've done already in seven minutes. Dyer's top tower is under attack. This will be a, a good jump to up to we are. See how much money exactly these stacks are, are going to add up to. Tower has fallen. Probably going to be close to I guess just under a thousand. Is under attack. Very needed. A good amount of levels too. It's up to yeah, oh, that's not bad. Yeah, pretty much yeah, a thousand gold from that. But still, I mean, it's it, all pressure though. Secret just farming. Like they didn't, they didn't feel the need to actually go for any of this. They were aware of these stacks. Puppy had scouted them earlier on. They're fine with just sitting back farming. Yapster's going for greed. He's actually going for a straight agonims on the on the willow. Oh damn! Oh my goodness, <laughs> right. he is. I guess this was the plan all along. Yap was like, Puppy, pick me first, pick Dark Willow. I'm I'm building ags. You're right. This is. Uh, I mean, the game continues like this is going to be one of the quickest willow ags we've seen. Crow, we'll get the silence out into the inkswell. Uh, the ruse down though, Matu, he could turn, chase him down. Give himself a tasty essence shift stack. Bottom lane. Uh oh. Nisha's got the setup. The boat comes crashing now. He's able to take down We Are. And into the jungle. Secret move and find GH attack. as well. Three on, dead. Radiant's on the Enigma. He's under attack. He's looking for the wrap round. He, he has got the rolling thunder. He's underneath a tier two. Uh, they've got the X mark. Do they want to commit though? They, 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 they don't. They, they won't go that deep. Yeah, at least. He kills the book though. Zai squashes Radiant's in, kills the book. The book one almost attack. kills off the second uh, archer as well, and he's almost has maelstrom. So they're really just there's going to be no summons and no illusions that can actually deal with this damage that's going to be coming out from secret. Dyer's middle tower. They're just collapsing so quick. Matu now taking this Dyer's tower. Two towers gonna be taken so early. Nigma trying to slow it down a bit here with the max aluminum build. Look at this on the pack. Oh, Nisha's already managed to wrap Dyer's around. He's trying to set up to GH. So doesn't actually quite get the combo onto him though. So GH is going to live. But the space is there for Matthew to get that last hit on the tower. Already 1300 on top of the Diffusal Blade. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. And Miracle's, I think he's aware that there's no way that he's going to help his team with fighting. So he actually didn't go for the first item Diffusal. He's just, he went for the Yasha, the farming item. And he just knows they just need to stall and make time for him to have a hope in this game. But Secret, they're so, they're so well prepared for when this PL does get online. Their itemization, very ideal for if that moment does come. And we're saying, I mean, the Radiant are scared. Down bottom, Nigma. Find a force. We have really wants to get a catch, but you could, again, with a successful scan, we'll be able to back away and then continue to farm those side lanes. Still, just some of Nigma's coils falling very far behind. Beast Nasty, no mind control. Radiant's Puppy's nearly overtaking him attack. in farm. Yeah. Dyer's the last pick, Beastmaster. 
completely addressed when they have all this now this all this summon clear with the way that they've set up the lanes. Getting he's halfway to his agonims too. To get all this farm Nothing and space on the map as Enigma can't twice. pressure. They can't. So much map control lost as Matu with a DD. He spots Weeha for a sec. He's gonna look for the hunt. A very passive game for Enigma to really do anything. As we said, they're two, they're two playmakers just so shut down in the laning phase. So limited for them to do anything. Feels like now they're just waiting for Miracle to have defusal so he can actually get involved. Feels like they've really... 4v5 is just not going to be working with what... The smoke from Secret. Nigma are on the high ground. It's around this bounty oh, point, and they have to get the grab that. on Zai. Weeha's charging in. He's looking for the grab, but the x Dragon dragging them straight back. The two of them into the boat combos. Kuro gets taken down. Zai's in with Rolling Thunder, locking down Weeha for a second kill for Nisha. As they're, they're really trying to make something happen, Nigma, but Secret are just ready for them every single time so far. And they're even trying to be cute. They send my control top to push out the wave. GH recalls him back into the fight. But by the time he's in the fight, two heroes are dead. Nisha with a very ideal setup and slight misstep, just walking into Torn and Boat. They go, they get a roar. It's on the puppy. He's already got the heal going. Just gonna walk away. And he's gonna turn. Look at the setup. The angle for the tie bring a hit. It's, it's, it's starting to really not look very pretty at all here for Enigma mid lane. Matsu, he's not going to get Miracle, but he is going to force him back bottom. They might get the kill on Nisha. Weeha comes back in, finally able to take down this Kunkka. It's something. Uh, they need a lot more of that. A lot more as Matsu is swinging over with the defusal. More flame, flame break. break. Well, just get up the pounce. They're knocking him back before he latches it on. I'll turn over towards GH, Matsu. He's going to be dissuaded from diving any further. It's the soul behind, locks the two of them down. We are trying to charge down the Absor. The Curse Crown stun will hit. Miracle has turned up. Matsu low on the mana. Flame break on the side. They're staying on top of the target, but Matsu's got the one charges and is able to sweep his way back towards the tower. But the stun, they close the gap with the inch. Well, Miracle is in on top of the two of them. Can he actually take them down? That rolling thunder from side comes in. Ends up jumping over Miracle. Is ready to come back round with a second sweep onto both GH. And we are huge swashbuckle from Zai. Cuts the two of them down. Kuro's going to fall. As it seemed here, Enigma, they, they felt that they had something going Dyer's there. They really wanted to charge down attack. Secret. Uh, but, but again, we're, we're just really down. feeling how far ahead Secret is right now. 11k advantage at 17 Come minutes on, in. Spray. And just all, all three of their cores able to contribute so much more than Enigma's can at this moment. Even their support. Look how far the supports are. They've Dyer's surpassed my control by significant margins. These fights just impossible. Miracle shows up. I actually thought he had defusal for a Dyer's second, but he shows up right before he does have it finished. Attack. So no way to actually catch or chase anybody as this game just continues to be domination secret. No mercy. Ward vision covered too to watch Weeha when he does look to go farm. And Yapsor, he's I mean, he's, he's nearly about got to it, have right? I mean, He's about to have eggs. This is, it really has to tell you something. When Yap's doing this sort of build, like, what, what does this sort of say to you that Yap's thinking about the status of the game? It, 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 like, would, would he be doing this regardless of how he's going or is he doing this because he knows he can? They did first pick it, so maybe he was going to do it anyway, but okay. I think it's because they just know that. <laughs> this is just an absolute... Invisibility! 18 to 4, now they're in Roche. They've already, they've already <laughs> itemized to deal with if the if scenario. The if the Dyer's PL is able to recover his game. Attack. And the rest of it, they already, they already handled all that in the early game. Smooth sailing from here forward for Seek. As they're just Radiant unbelievably farmed on every... This Roche just can't even attack. Constant lucky shot. Yeah, yeah. Ages for Matu and Precious Bounty. You know, as we saw earlier, it, it, it kind of makes you wonder if uh, Matu was Radiant's watching the two games for a little pleb and, fallen. you know, he felt like, hey, you know what, I really fancy playing some Slark today and go into Fuser Lags. As uh, we, we've seen it already in the two games earlier, uh, look, look amazing. And again, here in this sort of game where the momentum is behind you, yeah, Matu's Radiant's just going to be a huge nightmare scaring. to deal with. You, you can't run from him and. Even if you do manage to get on top of him, he's going to be very, very, very nimble as he jumps in and out of the fight. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Might be seeing Batrider 
benched away, perhaps, because this is the two teams that have now really shown the domination of that Slark when the Batrider is picked up early. You just pick the Slark, you lane it versus it, and it just... Batrider's game is just ruined. He feels forced to move around, but Matu, as a Slark, actually had the better rotations in the early game. He got two successful ganks quite quickly. His bottom, his long jump. And you just... You can't escape it! No, you can't. really can't! You never felt it. Easy kills from Matu. We, we, we saw it there as well. The Yaganim's now done on Yapsaw. Around this 19 minute mark. Probably one of the... Has to be one of the faster timings of the Ags on a Willow you've seen in pro games. It doesn't even feel like he needs it. It doesn't feel like it really adds that much. It just feels like it's him trying to get... There we look. 21... 20, yeah. oh, okay, oh, okay, to be fair, it's only been bought in one of the match. But it's uh, 21 minutes faster than that of the match. And Matthew's in. They're going to get the control onto Miracle. Back into the boat. Step deep six. As I... Uh, he wants to try and chase for Wii. But the flame break will put him off it. We able to... Pick up these batteries, but they, they're gonna Dyer's go hunting for him. Is under attack. Look at Puppy's items, too. Dyer's Just the standard drums. Vanguard <laughs> Puppy. Oh my goodness. Oh, that, all the items I mean, that's... to be prepared for later on, right? Uh, yeah. If the PL ever Dyer's gets far, gets a crimson, it's an enchantress. <laughs> yeah, first item, so I mean, not, not surprised about that. I mean that that's got to do some damage there. If you're if you're Nigma and you click on the edge and see them just rocking a vanguard, such a puppy item build though. Like you usually have like the medallion and the vanguard or something on the enchantress. As secret, yeah, just really running away with this game. Twenty-one to four. No hopes for Nigma really even on the horizon for quite some time. As they're just fully addressed. Even the, like we said, the PL has no way to actually play the game because he's. He's fully carried, he's 1200 HP. They just shred right through him with Eads, and he'll not get to the point I mean, where he can deal with this damage. And, and what would you say has sort of been the the most glaring issue that, that, that sort of lent the, the game to go like this? Is, would you really just go back down to the, the way that Secret were prepared for a Weeha bat mid? They, they do the Slark, and and sort of Weeha's game just slowed down entirely. Because when we saw the draft, we, you know, the, the panel didn't expect this sort of outcome, right? They, they, they said, you know, it's a good PL game. Nigma, they've got the, the more sensible lineup, if anything. As Matu is going to lose the Aegis here. The rest of the secret a little far behind, but Nigma, uh, regardless, they're, they're, they're going to step away from him. Matu's not going to allow it. As he jumps yeah. over to Kuro, he's over towards GH. Poor old GH trying to get away from this draft, but he cannot. Those kills too. 415 for the coddle, even though they're 14k up. I love it. He gets so rich off of these kills. I think it really is just the way that they set up the lanes and just set up the disaster for Radiant's Nigma to really not be able to switch and adapt. Attack. This Beastmaster was level 3 when the Kunkka was 6 bottom. That is a massive glaring problem. I think so two lanes that would be just a stop, Radiant's and top lane was trade. So I did fine. So two super dominant lanes just really capitalize this, and Weeha with some some bad, the, the bad rotations in the early game really hurt them. Smatu had the successful rotation. Back, so. Bottom lane. Poor old mind Ag control. He's, he's going to drop a roll, but he can't get away from this Ags Willow. Yapsor just beating him down through the Shadow Realm. As Nigma, they've, they've popped a smoke. Maybe in a sort of a one last hurrah chance here to find something. If they can even find anything, so you can, again, all well prepared. Everyone swings over. Puppy looking to get some ward coverage down for his team. And everyone just backing each other up. Just They're, they're really not giving Nigma any any hope in this game at all. Not giving them any options to get anything. The build up too. We watch Nisha continue to just go for the anti PL items. He gets the BKB to cover himself. Then he's going for Shiva's. Zaya, as we've already mentioned, has that mail to the blink. Perfect solution. Dyer's bottom tower. They do have really good high ground defense with this Coddle and this Grimstroke and the way for Batrider to blast with someone to pull them into bait. So it might take a little bit of time for Secret to actually go to that high ground, but they're just going to take Miracle is just hoping to be able to farm a heart at some point in this game so he can actually kind of stand in the midst of all this AoE, but... Prepared. But once it gets to that point. Puppy just walking around getting some D wards. Massive. And we see my controls. His necro books to also look for any type of get some.
Okay, they got the blink on the bat. GH is going to recall him up here, too. Maybe they can look to catch oh, him here. Oh, they are. The last one on to Matsu. See if they can burn his mana down in time. They can't. The PKP will be popped by Weehars. He's off to the side. Zai crashing through the midst of it all with the Rolling Thunder. See if they can finish anybody here. The X Mark is going to drag back Miracle. The Silence will stop any follow-up combo coming out straight away. As in the trees, they'll lose GH. I mean, close there to, to being able to control Matsu long enough to take him out, but but just not enough. They looked, they, they looked prepared for that move. Yoro crossed all five of them collapsed up there. They were just immediately all around their Slark to protect him. Enigma just, they're trying to pull anything out too. They're like showing heroes on one side and then recalling them to the opposite to try to catch Secret off guard, but still not working. Secret Dyer's said no mercy this game, really. Fallen. Absolutely not. We huh? Uh, make some type of pressure play, but then Secret's got a read on him too. Just him out already. Probably now expecting that there's no way that Nigma really wants to take any fight, so they're gonna have to do some creep cutting shenanigans. So we see Puppy placing a ward just in a lane randomly to watch when this Bat Rider does come out. And when they see Weeha with it immediately, so. Do whatever they want with that information. Just look at this damage, Yapsa with the axe. As he takes down Kuroki from a mile away, Zai finds GH. They just cannot step outside of the bases. Yeah, Puppy's got a full crimson. It's so crazy how far they are. <laughs> They're going to X the Pango as well while they continue the siege, bring him back. Puppy's going to run over. And without the cut on the Grim, the two big out spammers, this is a really good attack. attempt for siege. Can I have Lasso back up in a second? Welcome back. Wait. Radiance top tower is under attack. Now the Coddle Grim are going to respawn Radiance it. They're going to back up, look to clean up and pick up these bounties and runes that they didn't get for. Maybe hunt and get a ward down and look for Miracle. So he's gotten some time to recover. He is, you know, Miracle. Uh, as we've seen in, in the Enigma games where things start to get a bit crazy, he is doing he's a good in. job of avoiding danger. They are going to go for him now, though. And with Doppel and Manta already expelled, nah. he's looking pretty dead here. They almost, that was actually a cute attempt of trying to save. They recalled, he doppled during it, then he tried to Manta dodge the attack so the recall will go off, but they hit him anyway. All that attempt at him surviving and getting off farm. Quickly punished. Secret so with just one quick swing around it. Stop that PL for 40. The longest 40 seconds of... He needs, now. he needs every moment out in this map. And it's that, you know, that the heart was... Was coming relatively soon, just about 2k gold, and he'd have it. And then that stage. Side headed. Already in. Or Matu. He's found We Are. We Are does have the BKP and a TP if he wants to go for any will. Now he goes. bottom tower is under attack. GH and Kuroki actually pushing out this bottom lane pretty far. Secret, they've got the, the mid wave and the top wave coming in. Mind control. So we'll see how aggressive Matumba Man's feeling. At this stage, he may, he may want to just go in. Looks like they're trying to finish uh, <coughs> Excuse me. They're trying to finish up Kuroki's blink dagger. They can actually do some fun blink double last hold. But I think that's maybe the tower their only hope. under attack. These next few moments of the fights. Roshan up. Secret can look to settle for that. Step yes. lively now. Your admiral is on board. I'm in Nigma. In this position, would you want to see sort of a YOLO move around the pit? No, there's no hope for them around each other. Five minutes, but it'll be total disaster. The PO is the only one who can actually do anything inside of those fights. The Beastmaster is just. Nice find here for, for Nygma on the neutral line front. They they do manage to get themselves Radiance the Elven Tunic tower for, is under attack. for Miracle. Okay. Definitely one of the, the juicier items here. And uh, 500 gold and the heart will be done. Radiance so bottom we'll, tower we'll see how much of a, a difference this does make for Miracle in the fights. You know, sending these illusions onto some of the... Well, I say some of the squishier heroes. The problem is, it, it, this stage, <laughs> no, yeah, no one's really that squishy <laughs> at all on secret. I, it, and they're not easy heroes to, to sort of go on, go on. Of course, Puppy uh, with with the passive and uh, and Yapsa with the Shadow Realm. 
These aren't really heroes that can just be deleted by a PL jumping in in these team fights. No, this ward bottom, it's still continuing to see Nigma's movements. Weha does not want to have to BKB again to TP out. He'll be able to hang on. Dyer's courier has been killed. Does lose the courier, though. We'll Radiant Lens are scanning. It's going to be out of the game for a few minutes. Custy is just swinging the map every time. They push out a little bit of a lane, immediately start swinging over to me toward the other ones, just trying to catch any of the quirky Nigma heroes running around to split push. We're seeing to get themselves a lot of farm, too. Uh, it's Matu. Smoked running right through. Puppy. TP's right in the midst of all of them. No fear for him. Oh. <laughs> he might have to BKB this time round. We'll see. Gotcha. Amazing. That's, yeah, fun he's got to pop it. Around. To save himself here. Wait. Find the keeper. Nice. He's out and away. And, and he, you know, these itemizations from Secret 2. You, you see Nisha. The Shiva's Guard, he's, he's pretty much got the AC on top of it as well. So, so with this AC Shiva's Guard from Nisha, Crimson Guard from Puppy, this PL is... power! Miracle's barely going to give them a tickle. Yeah, and they have so many ways to clear the illusions too, as we mentioned for Zai with this as Miracle. Oh, the evasion does not work for him for the recall, and now he's getting chased. More. Oh. He's going to be able to get out with the TP though. Matu not quite able to find the angle initially. <laughs> Nearly gets it there the second time round, but Miracle's out in time. Oh no, Matu's stuck there for a bit. He's got no mana. Look at him. Oh, he's stuck there for... Oh, okay, for about time. 10 seconds or something. A little bit of a slowdown. Definitely secret though, preparing. They've already got a Lincoln's also on Zai, so protection versus Lasso and versus Roar when he's inside of his Rolling Thunder. Or for his teammates, if he sees opportunities. He's spotted by the Hawk. Can't take advantage of that at all as they're trying to find a little bit more farm. Matu, very low mana, though. And there's the AC. So Nisha, uh, as we mentioned, his, his build is just fully underdressed. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to take no damage. Denied. I have 52 armor. Oh, he's, he's under a tower. My math was very off as well, too. But anyway, 46 armor. <laughs> My control out of the top lane, bringing him bottom. Puppy's Centaur is scouting, though. We'll see GH for a second. Yeah, I mean, if, if somehow Nigma's able to get this, the Soulbind on, on uh, uh, Roar into Lasso on Slark plus one, uh, then, then maybe, uh, but it's, it's still just such a big maybe because it it really is the problem with damage output uh, at it this is. point. It's it really feels like it's going to have to be a double lasso under tier four. Yeah, to a sure. Four. You need the towers. <laughs> yeah, you, you do. You need those tier fours helping out. They're really lacking on it. Like Miracle might be able to survive a little bit longer, but his damage isn't going to be so much there because these illusions are going to get cleared out yeah. very quickly. And now Matu, building up the BKB so that he can just stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the PL, with the army that's all around him. do not worry about being out of mana. Enigma, it's all about just buying time. Invisibility. So a quick push. We have just charges past the lanes, fire flying it. GH can out bottom, recalling in the Beastmaster to summon the books, and then they throw him out. And they're getting, they are getting some gold on the map, but Secret continuing to grow their lead, and it's 30,000 experience lead, too. They're keeping... Nigma have, have definitely been able to hold off, you know, straight sort of just rolling over and, and letting Secret take down the Ancient. That that you know, they're, they're definitely making Secret sort of think about when they want to go for their next move. The question is if, if Secret really matter or if Secret's just sort of having fun at this moment, just getting farm on all all five of their heroes. That that is a high possibility for Secret. Just playing now, they're just playing dotes. You know, it's playing dotes with the guys again. Rather than having to worry about just winning the game, you probably feel like you've already won, and you just know it's it's this huge onus on Miracle. The rest of his team is doing is they, they're doing what they need to do on Enigma, though, just pushing lanes out and just trying not to die as Kiel attempts to catch up. And he's he is getting close. He's he's almost the same net worth, but so many things that he break through. Heist. Lively now. Your admiral is on board.
doing their best to, to try and at least keep this one lane far out. Secret's not quite in position to, to have multiple lanes pushed up to Nigma's base. Look at G GH is being so annoying. Yeah, he's, he's every lane, doing every a lot. wave bottom cleaned up from Aghanim's now finished after the force. Getting a good amount of farm. Forcing Secret's hand down bottom too. I mean, you know, it definitely goes to show that if if Enigma weren't set up in the in the in the tough ways that they were in this laning stage, that this game could. You know, if you consider yeah. 21k, but Enigma is still able to play out on the map and and slow Secret down a bit. Precious and, yeah, if, if yeah. they did have a better early game for yeah. sure, you just it, it, we're just we're seeing all the solutions. Like secret, they know that it's it's just gonna be PL versus the world later. So as we mentioned, Yazai, look at his items. Exactly what we've kind of figured he would go for. Ags, Maelstrom, all their oh, itemization yeah. is really just thinking about dealing with PL, dealing with Mirror. Really gonna be they're gonna be taken care of just from the natural spells and the farm of everyone. Set up here. They did have this ward up on top. I believe it did Hiroki for a hot second as he was walking through. Call him out. GH sets him up to push out mid. And a lasso, they'll actually find Puppy. They do. If they got the damage here, miracles around Puppy. He's got back up there, Matu. Jumps straight over. Will always be dropped down. Matu committing him with the Shadow Dance, ready to try and chase for more. Weehai's out with the BKP TP. Mind Control also out with the Puppy's BKB to get himself away from Zai. My people Kuro die. will be thrown to the wall. <laughs> Puppy is is out enough. You know, they've killed him. He's back in straight away with the buyback. He, he may just board. be ready to, to give the order for Secret to, to start pushing for the high ground teams now. Kuro still down for 30. The lasso is a long cooldown. It's 110 seconds. That's probably what he's saying. Right, take advantage of no lasso. They can't actually take us into the tier fours now as pause from H. During the glyph usage. I mean, without the lasso, what, what what's sort of the best way of Nigma making a move on Secret whilst they're pushing? Just hope for them to overextend by any means. Right now, they have to be a little cautious. They yeah. can just sit back passive and just keep blasting with the coddle. That's the one nice thing about their trap. This tower might still just go down, though. They need everything at their... They have in him. Zoom. I thought I lost you for a second. Oh my god. Your voice like tapered off instantly. I was like, oh god, did I lose power? Oh no, what's happening? Oh, we're still I was got both teams are cool for G. Now it comes. Hey. A little bit of time. Crit reset themselves oh, yeah, momentarily. Yeah. Nisha's looking for an X mark grab. Matter, he just That's straight in. in. He's up into the base. He's looking for GH. The raw does catch him. Will was down as well. But, uh, He's able to hook the BKB go out and actually find Miracle. And Miracle would try to commit onto Nisha. He couldn't quite get him though. Nisha is fine. Miracle's down for a minute. So is we are out of the game. No buyback. A secret will have plenty of space here to commit. Are under attack. He went in when his team was getting gone on. They couldn't help him at all. He got hit by pretty much every spell from Secret. The fear, the pangle, every single one of the spells connected on Miracle. 45 seconds. That's a long time. Might be two sets. Yeah, Secret has 14. Dyer's middle, middle, middle barracks has fallen. Dyer's middle barracks has fallen. Still got that cheese. Your Admiral is on the power. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Trying to hold. It's just the three of them. They were struggling massively when they had the full roster up. Dyer's just the three. Top tower has fallen. Very little to be done Dyer's to slow down Secret pushing him. Very easily taking a second set of racks as their lead, their Dyer's domination this game continuing. Fallen. 31 to 5, 27k advantage. Step lively Such now. a clean Your game from Secret, really. Who's got the who's actually got the deaths? What? Nisha's got one, Puppy's got one, and then Yapsor's got three. So they've done a great yeah, they, they just a great job of making sure that they don't even lose the core heroes that are in the front lines ever. It's just unbelievable farm on all three of them. Zai for Zai for once, honestly, I feel like is unbelievably farmed for this team, where usually it's like Yapsor is taking a lot of the farm. Even though Yapsor is, Zai's kept up significantly this game.
He understands what he needs to do to counteract that PL. And into the Roche again. Yep. Third one for free. Easy refresh, the shot ready to go. I mean, this is... And a full heart for Nisha, too. I believe they're about to be bought up on this side. Oh, my goodness. He's, he's a pretty tanky boy. I know that they've got to go for these crazy plays. They're not even able to make it there in time. And we are... Oh, he's in. He's going to grab Puppy. puppy. <laughs> he's trying to get out with the remainder of this beacon with the will wisp down, but Puppy's going to live Zai. Straight through the back lines here with the Rolling Thunder over towards Weeha. As he keeps him locked down, Miracle trying to jump in and over towards the back lines. Kuro it. able to keep himself alive there with that last minute smoke. Puppy being focused by the illusions, but there isn't quite enough damage on the wrist. Miracle will be able to finish off Puppy, but Nisha now comes in with the bow. They'll be able to get Miracle up to the high ground. He's away with the doppelganger. Roar as well from Mind Control holds back Matuma Man. As they're chasing running. Miracle. See if Miracle can get his way out of there. The recall's gonna be in play, but they have the damage to stop it. As Miracle's gotta stand his ground and fight, he turns over towards Nisha, but look okay. how tanky Nisha is. He's still alive though, and he's draining their mana. Nice illusion play by Miracle. Baited them for the fake one. Matu getting kited. Trying to get it onto Mind Control. Miracle, he's now gonna turn over towards Zyde with the Wisp is back up. Miracle, jumping in with the Dolph, and he's trying to stay on top of the turn of the He's ready to go, rolls up. Holds his position, Matu still trying to punch in the Miracle, but has to be a little cautious with no mana. Did only Puppy die? Only Puppy died. Until what a crazy fight. Oh. Both teams are dancing around each That's other's carries. Fine. They both thrive off of these long hard, duration right? team fights, the Slark and the PL, and both teams just play phenomenally kiting around. Even Kuroki's gonna get away from Matu for now. And he'll get away too. GH, will he be so lucky to get out? He will. What a crazy fight where just one person <laughs> stay on the move. I mean, I guess it was, it was sort of just a case of, of... I mean, well, if anything, you've got to be very pleased with that outcome if you're Enigma, right? You're, you're not... You're not dying. You're not losing any, any, any game where one team is 27k ahead. You've just turned up to a fight and you don't lose anybody. They, they, they couldn't quite kill it. Come on, sprites. They didn't quite take anything out either, though. I think Dyer it was just a refresher shot that was used for Zai. Ace and Cheese are still at the ready for Zai. Here comes the siege. Got the lasso back up. This damage we have, so uh, we are trying to be very careful. The illusion mana burn is starting to add up on Tanisha. He's done oh. the cheese ready to Miracle. We get the first bounce down onto Miracle. Matu trying to commit for more. They're dragging back, but he's able to jump out of the boat combo with the doppelganger. Matu continuing to remain completely drained of mana. We are getting control on the side. Has to put the BKB. He's trying to get down. Azai, Rolling Thunder's out there. Grab Puppy again. Puppy again. They'll Come grab him in. Here. Into the range of this will is Pulling him back. The fear pushing back Miracle though. Moves out from my control. Me. Holding down. Kunka through the BKB for now. Anisha may be out of mana, but he's still ready to punch. Miracle trying to turn towards Zai, but again, Zai able to use the charge to escape. Matu commits with the BKB, takes down Mind Control. They're looking for Miracle. He's been just out. He's still got another jump out. There'll be buybacks from both Mind Control and GH, but the racks are gone. The secret got the objective they wanted, and Matu, he's not even done yet. Jumps back over towards Miracle. Miracle's going to get forced away. Matu's going to turn his attention over towards We Are instead. We Are for He has got buyback, uses it immediately. GH, though, he brought back for this, so he's out. Down for we'll 75 play. seconds. No way of returning. It's just down to the fourth. Enigma smoking up immediately. Maybe seeing if they can get a catch onto Secret as Secret start to retreat. If we are can do so. No lasso Lively though for 50 now. still. And it's not going to be the case. Secret able to get everybody out of there. And Puppy, the man who's last out again, survives in the midst of it as he's built so tanky. And they were just focused firing the racks really for the most part there. And Matsu just we're continuing just to see like this Slark pick just free reign. He has there's nothing they can do to him. 1406 diving under tier fours. And this is the end. This is where they're gonna look to close it out. TP's back, gets X, picks up the trickster's cloak. Now he can look to really be more aggressive as he's got his basher in play too. See what final moves Nigma's got in themselves. And Secret. 
Already showing Skyers to, to start going for the kills as they go on to Michael Jolly. Put the BKB, he can't even get the roar off. The bash is from Matsu. Silencing the Beastmaster. No roar today. As the tier fours are falling, Secret ready to close this one out. They've had their fun. They've played around with their food long enough. As 36 to 6, 38k gold lead. Secret will take this game off 43 minutes in. As this was a, a very rough start to the best of three for Enigma. And Secret, they, they came in again with their own unique style, opening the draft with this Yaps or Dark Willow. And it, it couldn't have looked much better there from Secret, making this game one look pretty simple, Fog.